Thank you for joining me. I'm Lawrence Jones. And tonight, blue states, problems are coming to Texas. Now, you may have heard that my home state of Texas just picked up two congressional seats, one from California and one from Texas. It's not hard to understand why. Texas is a great place to raise a family. It's cleaner, choice of school is more prevalent, and the cost of living is much more affordable. Americans want to be free. They don't like being restricted by government that locked them down, masked them up, and taxed them into oblivion. But people fleeing to Texas from cities like Los Angeles or New York might be surprised to find familiar problems waiting for them in the Lone Star State. I mean, Austin. The capital city of Austin is facing a crime problem, a drug problem, and a homeless problem. Basically, all the quality of life issues Blue State transplants thought they were leaving behind. Residents say they've never seen anything like this. But the city leadership, run by Democrats, well, except for the lone Republican deer, they're completely denying it. So I went to Austin myself to see it. Watch. If you're down here, you're ready to party. It's a busy city. We came out just to have some fun. It's a great time. Everybody's safe. It's America. It's my home. This used to be one of the crown jewels of Austin. But as you can see, another tenth city. It's never been like this before. I'm a Democrat, but I have learned my lesson. I'm freaked out. Something needs to be done. Two years ago, the city council voted to get rid of a city ordinance that banned camping on public land and parks. The result, 11% increase in the homeless population. You have people that are assaulted, people who are robbed. We've had home invasions. One night, I was at my neighbor's house and we saw them cleaning their guns. You found needles? Yes, I saw this thing on the floor. I didn't know what it was. I picked it up. Austin is starting to look like it's getting rolled. Th that is the last thing I want to have happen. A guy's walking around here with a machete threatening people. It started with box cutters as a weapon. Now we, sadly, we joke that we're the machete capital of Texas. This May, the city residents got their voice back when they voted in a landslide victory to reinstate Prop B. So what is the city leadership doing here in Austin? The city of Austin lets them do whatever they want. Please do your drugs. Leave your needles with uncapped so little kids can find them and get hep and AIDS. It's ridiculous. You are harboring drugs, sex trafficking, all sorts of crime in these tents. And we, as a people and as citizens, are left to fend for ourselves. Do you want that to be the image of Austin? One of the reasons I don't like that image is because I don't think it's true. A guy is walking around right outside of City Hall with a machete, threatening people. That's illegal. That's breaking the law. And, and, and we're dealing with a, with a tough challenge. They voted to defund the police last year and reallocate money. And as such, officers are leaving at very high rates. I think the cause the of our illness that is taking over our city is failed leadership. I gotta tell you, I talk with the cops. They tell me that they wanna be able to enforce the laws, but they've been told, stand back. My police chief tells me that's not true. We're gonna fight, and if I know one thing, is change is constant, and we're gonna vote them out. We could either escape, and we could run from this problem, or we can face it straight on, and we can make a positive change. You have a commitment to go and, and engage these members of the public to come up with some sort of solution. Absolutely, it's my practice, and I've been doing that. Don't worry, guys, the great mayor is dealing with it. Do you see it? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.